read you this text. Someone says, everyone I know, young and old, all want to get vaccinated. No one will say no to a free payment, but I truly do not think the issue is people not booking in. It's the availability of... Why? We didn't do enough deals with enough pharmacy companies to get enough vaccines early enough. Alright everybody, I'm on the ZFC and I am using the flogging handle. That has just arrived with me. I'm just about to send the ZFCs back, but I do have the vlogging handle and I'm holding it here. We are out, the sun is set, we're on 10,000 ISO. How do you think that looks? We're going out for a night shoot. We know it's going to look fantastic during the day, but how is it going to look at night? That's the real test. As we can see there, we have twilight. We're recording on the ZFC with a road mic on top. And I can see that the camera is working out, even in this low light, where my eyes are. So that's pretty cool, with a mask on. So that does seem to be pretty impressive. So the vlogging handle is working pretty well. Initial thoughts are, it's made by Small Rig. I like what Small Rig do. Uh, my only impression from it is that when it came out of the box I was surprised to see plastic or composites who knows exactly what's in that plastic there are so many types of plastic so it's a bit it's lightweight and it feels about as strong as it needs to be for this setup now another thing I find interesting is that when you flip the screen to face you your audio levels disappear So indeed, here's the twilight, the city twilight. And as I said, I decided night time to test both stills and video. Right now the ISO is at 640 and it's jumping, it's jumping all around the place. How does it look at 640? Does it look all right? Keeping an eye on how eye detectors going. It's a pretty, it's going pretty well, but I will change over to the 28 2.8 other kit lens because it's going to work better in these low light situations. This one goes out to 6.3, pretty hard for low light. And as you're about to see, we're getting to really low light territory now. Right here, right now, we're on 16,000 ISO, 4K. Through the viewfinder, that looks pretty good. This face is darker than it looks on camera. If you look up to the sky, you can see there's just the slightest amount of light, but uh, again, that's brighter than it is in reality. This is probably something like triple times brighter. But currently, it's 16,000 ISO. 20,000 ISO. How is that feeling? I think it's pretty good for an APS-C sensor. And then here we are, straight at this wall. We've got a lot of detail that we can look at. 
Got the spaceman there, and this is 25,600 ISO. That's a lot of ISO. Okay, well we are still on the 16 to 50. Wide open, 24 equivalent. ISO is at 1600. And if we pan up through this cool alleyway, we can see that the night sky is almost dark and what's left of the sunshine is almost gone. But how's that looking at 1600? I think that's looking pretty good. And we're at F4 for some reason. There we go, there's 3.5. I was able to dial that up manually. That eye detector's working again. It's very dark here. And I've fixed the ISO to 1600. And I think that's pretty good. I think that's working quite well. Um, but yeah. Still with the kit lens, the 16 to 50. And we're at 1.5, 3.5, ISO 1600, 4K. How does it feel? Well, look, if you're a traveler, this is an extraordinarily light kit. And when you're traveling, you probably mainly want to do wides and interesting places. We, we can zoom. And we go to 6.3, everything else is locked in place. And you know, that's pretty good. Another symptom of what's happening here in my city is there's just more and more shops that are empty. Have a look down the end there. There are police signs, I'm guessing, on something like 30%. 35%, maybe heading towards 40%. Who knows how much longer everybody can last. All right, let's go get the 28. Every time you turn off the camera, the remote control disconnects, which makes sense. It's very easy to connect. You just hold down the on button for a tick and it re-establishes Bluetooth contact in just one or two seconds. It's easy to get things going again. All right, let's go get that 28. get a vaguely reasonable shot of your head uh, and well the 2.8 is working in pretty low light we are at 1 16 hundredth I'm happy that this camera works in low light situations I've proved that now I'd like to go back and actually look at all these files what do we think of no stabilization how does it go I'm sure if I was standing still, it would be much better. But this is as far as I can get away. So can you get away with a 42 mil equivalent to vlog? Well, I do think in an emergency, absolutely yes, you can. Or even if you just want this to be the only thing you're using. I think this is usable. And as long as you don't have to spend too much time talking to camera, I think that's totally okay. I don't think EVF's quite, uh, quite on par with the Z6s, but that's to be expected. But I'm very happy with the performance otherwise. Well, here we are testing out the vlogging handle along with the microphone on top. Flippy screen, I can see that eye detect is working and I have a record button here in the handle which I can press and turn things off. But then of course I can turn them back on. Now what we're gonna try right now, if I have my keys, cause we're down at the beach and it's been raining like crazy and I'm just looking for a gap in the weather to go out nice hat by the way and go out probably going to get ridiculously windy 
I love this weather now. I've taken some amazing photographs with the ZFC here, mostly with the 70 to 200 VRS Z version. Looking very nice. shot and what I'm seeing of this sensor so far it's pretty good and it did occur to me that the pixel density or the photo site density is the same as the Z7. The Z7 in APS-C is a 19 and a half megapixels and this is 20. Anyway gorgeous afternoon massive storm just went through got some lovely photos on the ZFC and video. This is basically the Matt Irwin vlogging and shooting as I would normally shoot video. How does the ZFC handle it? Well, that's what this one's all about. After spending a few weeks with the ZFC and having the opportunity to try it out as I did in this video you can see up here with over 25 lenses, using it in the field as I do my Z6s and Z7s, D850s and D4s and everything else prior, this camera optically is doing a very good job. The sensor is fantastic and it delivers what you would expect. The differences between all of those other cameras that I talked about and the ZFC is of course the ergonomics are different and you just have to be mindful that you will not be holding your camera the same way. You have to hold it differently. It's a camera that's super light, super affordable and delivers you the Nikon color science and everything else that you would expect from Nikon in a neat, tight, good looking package. I think the 28mm is a great kit lens that you can do street photography and you can vlog and you can get what you need to get done. My only thought there is is that there is no in-body image stabilization or VR in that kit. So that is really something worth thinking about. But if you do couple it with a lens with VR, whether that's a 70 to 200 or the 105 macro or any of the various kit lenses that come with the ZFC or the Z50, besides the 28mm, then this becomes a very comprehensive package. But here's the thing, the ZFC is more than just simply the sum of its parts. It's a piece of nostalgia. It's fun. I think something that's often lost in the spec readings is the fact that the relationship that we have with our camera is a big part of why we go out, why we have joy, why we gravitate to the practice of photography. Simply having this artifact in our hand that brings us joy may well be enough to get us out and creating. And that within itself is more than enough to justify the ZFC in my book. It's an opportunity for us to explore the way we do things differently. It's just simply so much more than a new camera. So when you're thinking about buying this camera, think about the fact that for its very affordable price, you get oh so much more. And that's about it. You can watch all my other videos about the ZFC. There are lots of them covering all different aspects from the looks to how many different lenses you can put on it to this video. Can you vlog and can you streetscape? And the answer is unequivocally yes. You can do all those things. I'd love to know, please let me know in the comments below any questions or thoughts you have about the ZFC. As always, it's fantastic to have you here and if this is your first time here, I would love to see you again. So please do subscribe, please share and please like. Check out my website, maddowen.com for prints and I very much look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye for now.